All right, thanks for joining me today. My name is Jose Villablanca and I'm a holistic lifestyle coach and personal trainer. Today I want to talk to you about mistaking hunger for thirst. Now you just might be dehydrated. What I mean by that is when you eat every four hours, you shouldn't feel hungry between those four hours or even three hours depending on what phase, what goals, what fitness routine you're in right now. But essentially, you shouldn't be hungry in less than an hour or two. What you might be doing is dehydrating yourself. Because you should be drinking half of your body weight, that's pounds, in ounces. So if you're not drinking enough water, which happens frequently with many of my clients that I see, then you will start to feel that hunger pang. Now, why does that happen, you may be asking yourself. Let me tell you, think about natural foods like fruits and vegetables. Think of a cucumber when you bite into it. What happens? Think about biting into an apple or a grape or a watermelon. What happens? Well, when you bite into it, you feel that explosion of water in your mouth, right? That's because most fruits and vegetables and natural foods have a lot of water in them. So when you're not hydrating yourself throughout the day, your body will make you want to eat those natural foods. But in this day and age, we can just grab whatever food we want and usually that comes out to junk food and they're usually dehydrated foods, so which will even dehydrate you even more. So you should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces throughout the day so you don't feel this hunger pang. And again, you do not want to mistake this thirst for hunger. So when you start to constantly hydrate yourself throughout the day, then you won't have this feeling of hunger in between your meals. That's because it will try to make you eat healthy foods, but then you'll just grab whatever's close to you or whatever's convenient to you. So if you're not drinking half of your body weight in ounces just yet, like today, say for example, just for easy math, you weigh 100 pounds, you should be drinking 50 ounces a day. If you're only at 30 ounces today, what you can do tomorrow is do 35 and then the next day you can go up to 40 and then the day after that you can go to 45 until you reach your 50 ounces a day mark. Now that's assuming you only weigh 100 pounds, okay? So this is for easy math. And how to make, you can make it easier by just drinking flavored water. So if you know, um, you could put that, in, you could put slices of fruits in your water because some people say, oh, but water doesn't taste good. My God, that's nothing really. It's just drinking water, but you know what? If you want that sweet stuff, then you can put some um, natural like orange slices in there or even mint leaves in there and just let it sit in your water so it, you will taste the flavor eventually. Um, you could add a pinch of sea salt too because when you do that, you add trace minerals to your water which adds value to your water. And make sure you're drinking high quality water as well. So filtered water is really good for you um, and don't make your water sit all day because water is naturally flowing. Think of streams, right? They're natural. Think of healthy, unpolluted streams. You want to be drinking that, not still water, because that's like a swamp. And if you're drinking bottled water, make sure you don't leave plastic water bottles under the sun, because that could leach toxins, that could leach the plastic in the water that you're going to drink. Another thing you can do is eat for your metabolic type. If you don't know what that is, check out my metabolic typing diet um, presentation. And you can ask for the metabolic typing questionnaire as well just to find out what your metabolic type. So for more information, feel free to reach at me at my email address. It's holisticjose at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram at holisticjose. Make sure you join my Facebook page as well. Just search Holistic Jose and a separate account as well as Holistic Jose's private Facebook group. That's where you can download files. Uh, there are other things you can do there that you can't do on a Facebook page. Thanks for listening and I hope to connect with you soon and I hope I can help you achieve your fitness goals. Bye now.